As we wait for the judges scoring decision here, we got fight 33 coming up. Looks like Dane Herrera at a little brawlers. And then uh, Esteban Reese at a Longmont. They're gonna be 16 years old, two minute rounds at 109 pounds. Dane is gonna be uh, in the red corner. Let's get Carla over here for a quick interview before this next fight starts. We'd definitely like to talk to her. Hope she don't knock me out. I'll we'll, tell you. <laughs> we're we'll, gonna have her knock Bear out first. Uh, they both deserve some accolades on a great match. They do. They both deserve it. They 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 gave it their all. Another exciting fight. Let me see if I can grab one of them. I got it. Looks like we got Dane Herrera entering the ring right now. Would you say Shane? Dane. D A N E. Dane. Dane, okay. What's the age group? 16 years old. And the weight? 109 pounds. And who's Dane bringing on? Esteban Ruiz. Sabes hablar español? Bueno, Carla, ¿con quién, ¿con quién peleas? ¿Con cuál, cuál club? Con el de la familia Boxing. ¿Y ellos dónde están? En, ubicados en el YMCA. ¿Aquí en Longmont? Sí, en Longmont. ¿Y cuántos años tienes peleando? Tengo dos años. ¿Dos años? ¿Cuántos pleitos tienes? Diez. ¿Diez? Yes. ¿Cuántas ganadas? ¿Cuántas peleas tiene ganadas? Siete. ¿Siete? Sí, siete. Eh, nos gustó cómo peleaste esta noche, muy agresiva. Y este. ¿Ves esa cámara que está ahí en la esquina en la posta? Oh, sí. ¿Quieres mandarle saludos a alguien? A mis padres. ¿A tus padres? Sí. Gracias por tomar el tiempo con nosotros. Muchas gracias a usted. Good job, Bear. Oh, it sounded like you were right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Bear. Way to be bilingual for us. Oh. I didn't. I didn't know uh, she didn't speak English. I was stuck in the mud over here. Congratulations, Monica. Good, strong fight for Carla, though. She did well. She did do well. Carla's well trained. She packs a power punch for. Her. A young lady her size, holy moly. Hey, you know, I wouldn't want to get hit by her. How about you, Bear? You think you could take no. a punch from Carla? No. I don't think I could either, man. At my age, <laughs> at my age, I don't fight nothing no more. <laughs> she have to catch me first. <laughs> so we got Estevan in the black, correct? Yes, yes Estevan in the black in the back. and Dane in the red. Is this Phil? Phil Herrera in the red? Dane. Dane Herrera. And oh, uh, Philip. Philip Herrera? Yeah, yes, Philip. Philip Herrera in How the red. How long are these rounds? Two minutes. Okay, sounds good. Anything that I say. Here we go as we're yeah, waiting for bit. the judges to give the okay to start. All right, here comes the start of round one. Both fighters meet in the middle of the ring, touch gloves, and here comes Estevan. But Philip tries to counter. Neither one are making really good contact here. Good right hand there for Estevan. Going to the body is Philip. Oh, nice, nice raw left hand. Nice low. I think Esteban's going to have to use that long, pretty jab of his to really keep him at bay and, and, and uh, attack him that way. Esteban was a good combination. Phil is trying to respond with those shots to the body. 
But I think Estevan landed more there. Good oh, right nice. hand for Nice Estevan. right by Estevan. Like I said, that, that jab of his might be the key to this thing. Yeah, he's got good jab and good power right. He's, oh, nice right hand, though, for Phillip. That jab is landing for Estevan. It is landing. Oh, I think he that got Phil all bloodied up already. He got him bloody up already. Nose again? Yeah. You know it. That jab is doing some damage then for, for Estevan. Nice and stiff. Coming to the body is Phillip. Estevan responds with that straight jab. That jab lands again. Guys are slowing down a little bit at the end of this round. They might have pushed a lot of energy out in the beginning. Ducking that jab was uh, Phillip, but didn't respond with much. Yeah, that jab that Estefan has is definitely a weapon. That thing's like a nuclear weapon. He sticks it out there, and he, he normally hits his target. Now let's see if he can attack off the jab and, and really dominate this fight. I think the reach advantage here by Esteban is evident. It is. Two He's hit a, combo try by Phil doesn't land at all. He's a smooth, lanky fighter, too. I like those kind of guys. Athletic, he's, you know. There we go. Andy there we go. One. What a nice round. What do you think, Bear? Oh, definitely got to give it to Esteban. I mean, you have to. I mean, his gloves are, got by blood far. on him. His gloves got blood on him, and they're not his blood. <laughs> so that first round definitely got to give it to uh, Estevan. Yeah, I got I got him big time on that round. You know, it seems to me like Phil didn't have any lunch and decided to eat those jabs by Estevan all <laughs> the first round. I so wonder I, how a jab sandwich tastes. I've never had one. I don't think I want one. <laughs> I've had them, and they're not very tasty I don't at think all. they are. Well, if you want the answer to that question, you might want to ask Phil because uh, – he ate a bunch of them that round. I know. And that uh, definitely gives Esteban the edge in this fight. But that's only one round of three. Yeah, one round of three. You know, fights are not determined in the first round unless you knock a guy out. But plenty of fighting left to do. And I think if uh, Phil wants to have a, a, a shot in this fight, he's going to have to be a little bit more aggressive and land some uh, meaningful punches. He's got to get inside that jab and make some connections to the body or to the head with those punches. I definitely agree with you, man. Easier said than done. Oh, nice. Good nice combination, combination by, Esteban by Esteban. Landing like crazy, Esteban is. Phil showing no quit, though. Big hard by Phil, big hard. Oh, oh he rocks oh. him. That just stumbled, standing eight count. Yeah, that, that, that jab did some damage. That yeah. jab did some damage, standing no doubt about count. it. You know, we've had a pretty good performance by the referees all day, too, but that stoppage was a little slow. Yeah, he got his knees buckled. He buckled his knees on that with that big es jab. Estevan got a good three more shots in after that stunning blow. So this puts Phil deep in the hole in the middle of the second round. He's got to get some good power shots coming off. That long range and that long lanky jab is really giving Phil some problems. You know, it's one thing to have that range. It's another thing to know how to use it. And that's exactly what Esteban's doing right now. You make a very good point. A lot of fighters got that same range, that same jab. But like you said before, you definitely got to know how to use it to your advantage. And Esteban's taking advantage of this opportunity. He knows Esteban that feels he may have the lead and look like he's let up a little bit here. Yeah. Carrying his hands kind of low, too. He knows he's got the speed in that left hand. If Phil can somehow get past that jab, man, goodness gracious. I don't think he can, but if he if he can, he can maybe have some success. I think the best thing for Phil, he might want to go to the body and, and make him drop his arms, then go back upstairs and, and, and work him that way. But I don't think you're going to win this fight by trying to hit um, – you know, Esteban in the head <laughs> or go upstairs. You got to go to his body first for a long, lanky fighter like that. Well, if you notice, Esteban's got his left hand pretty low, but I think that's because he just knows. Yeah, you know, he knows, yeah. yeah. He has that confidence, you know, especially this is going into the third round now. And uh, that jab is definitely a weapon for uh, Esteban. Yeah, I got it two rounds to nothing for Esteban. I think it's pretty obvious who's going to win this fight. But we got one more round. Stranger things have happened there. Well, that it was just a takes one punch. Round. That was a 10-8 round for Esteban with a 
you know, referee stepping in, giving the standing eight count. Definitely a 10 8 round. Yeah, these coaches have got to find a way for Phil to get inside because he's going to need a knockdown in this final round to stand a chance of winning this fight. All right, here we go. Start of the third and final round. Touch gloves. Oh, Estevan is sacred shots at will. Phil is trying to He's cover really up. He's really trying to finish him off. He's and trying to finish him off. there's another standing eight count. All he could do was cover up. He couldn't really respond when he did finally throw. Nothing was connecting. Here we go. I think Phil may be outclassed in this particular matchup with es Estevan. Guy works hard, but I just think he's out outmatched. Difficult to get past that long jab. He's just picking them off. There's nothing he can really do. Unless he gets to his body and do some damage that way. Other than that, I think uh, Estevan's got this. Oh, that's it. It's over. over. It's down. over. That'll end the it's fight. over. TKO in the third round. Man. It's over. It's yeah. over. Estevan. It's over. I got respect for both fighters, man. It takes a lot of courage to get in this square circle. And um, in my opinion, both both fighters are winners, but there can only be one winner, and uh, I think we know who won that one. Yeah, the doctor yeah, has the referee the ring. stops the fight. That's it. Party over. Party over. The ring doctor is in the ring. Check it on Phil. And the ring doctors do such a great job taking care of these fighters and knowing when to step in and knowing when to let the guys go. And um, I just think we saw a fight where it was one fighter better than the other one. That's the bottom line. Oh, yeah. Looked like one had a little bit more experience than the other. And it was tough for uh, Phil to get past that long jab, man. It was in his face all night. Um, there was nothing he can do about it. Eric, you want to get an interview in with uh, uh, Stefan? If you can get Estevan in there. Estevan. Yeah. See if you can get him in. We're going to do a quick interview. While well, we're waiting for them to clean up the ring a little bit, our it, next fight is going to be Adan Cardenas out of Ghost Town, 13 years old, a minute and a half round, 99 pounds, against Marcos Sanchez out of Las Cruces, New Mexico. Boy, that doctor's doing quite a mop up there. There was a lot of blood on that ring. Yeah, huh? he's definitely cleaning up the crime scene for the next uh, fight. Looks like we will be able to get an interview with Esteban Reese. Yeah, we'll get him over here and... We'll get Bear to ask how he got that jab to get so pretty. Maybe we ought to have him put some of that on you, huh? <laughs> Maybe get you in the ring and get some of that jab work put on you, big fella. My, my days are way It's over. Gone. Uh, okay, way okay. I, I was just asking. I thought you had a, a round or two left in you. No. <laughs> the answer to that is, is no. no. <laughs> when it comes to that kind of stuff today, gas is on the right. <laughs> <laughs> Much respect to both fighters. They've shown class, sportsmanship, not only to each other, but to the crowd, to the refs. Oh, that doctor's still mopping up that map. From my vantage point, I couldn't see, but it looks like there was a lot of blood in that fight. Yeah, he had a bloody nose, and every time he got popped, it was splashing. For number 33, the winner is out of the blue corner. Stella Ruiz. Congratulations to Stevan. He definitely earned that. Great performance by him. He did definitely earn that. What a great fighter he is. Such a young age, nice jab. It'd be interesting to see what he does with stiffer competition, but what an impressive uh, 
impressive showing he had here tonight in Longmont, Colorado. ColoradoSports.tv, home of boxing. Some of the best amateur boxers here in the state of Colorado, right here in Longmont and the whole state of Colorado.